knowledge is knowledge, right? Never learn from a beginner. Never learn from somebody who doesn't have results. The stuff I say, I come up with the stuff myself and I piece it together myself. But we have all learned something from somebody. All right. You did not invent tying your shoes, but most likely 99.9% .9 of y'all have tied your shoes today. Every word that comes out of your mouth, you didn't invent any of those words. It's just you put together your sentences and what you're saying yourself. All right. So as an adult, the main thing that makes people fail, not just fitness, but most things is because we are hard headed, stubborn, and we don't listen. And I'm saying we because I'm included. So listen to the video, like the video. If there's something in the video that you don't like, don't just throw everything that you did like away because of that one or two things. I might touch on some controversy stuff. Fitness, dieting is a very touchy subject. subject. All right. I get my buttons pushed too. When somebody say I'm wrong about something, I do. I do, I do, I do, I really do. So let's get into this, all right? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the link below to see exactly how I diet. So if this is the way you want you diet, and you want to change or you want a different insight and, and, and actually you know, not be a one-track pony, click the link below, top 10 misconceptions about weight loss after you watch this video. All right, this is going to be kind of a part two to my last video, but I'm going to name and title it a different way. Um, That was kind of aimed at one of my homeboys. We're like brothers, you know what I'm saying? Um, Salute to the bro. Um, And when I say aimed at, it don't mean nothing bad. It means as in directed towards, all right? I'm trying to straighten them out, you know? Kind of like I just straightened out this camera. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. My last video, I was talking about should you stop eating meat? to lose weight and in my opinion no highly opinion no all right a lot of people will argue that we're not supposed to eat meat and by the way he's not stopping eating meat he's just going on a little uh fruit fast or whatever i, I don't know uh, i don't know quick fix I, I don't know but um what i'm trying to say is this all right oh 100 but what i'm trying to say is this we are men we were put on this earth to rule, all right? We were put on this earth to rule. When I mean man, I mean mankind. I mean men and women alike. We are put on this earth to rule the earth, all right? That's what God put us on the earth for, all right? Under God. Other than that, I'm gonna adjust this one more time. If it fall, it fall, whatever. We're put here on the earth to rule over all the beasts. Does that mean we should eat them? It's arguable. A lot of people will, um, this is just towards, um, not towards him, but people that I have conversation with a lot. That's why I had so much stuff to say because I've had this conversation before, you know what I'm saying? I became an expert by doing things, just like you become an expert at what you do, by doing things. I don't care where you, this goes for anybody. I don't care if you work at McDonald's right there. If you've been working there for 10 years, you're gonna be more, uh, you're gonna be more of an expert at flipping the burgers or serving the drinks or whatever than somebody who's just been working there 10 days. I mean, it is what it is, you know? Um, we are ambush creatures. We are at, we are creatures that use our brains. We are creatures that use tools. A lot of people will say that animals that you know usually eat meat, if it's meant to eat meat, can run, chase down a, a zebra, bite it, and, and you know we can't do that, so we shouldn't be eating meat. There's lots of animals who ambush. There's animals that use traps. Have you seen spiders hunt? I mean, there's a lot of animals. Like, a lot of people will compare us to apes. And I get it, I see the resemblance, you know? I, I meant to clear this up in my last video. This video, I'm just trying to clean up a few things that I left out. Because this video, like last video, was off the top of the head, but I remember some of the things that I left out. I said something about us being not apes, all right? Because we came from God, we came from Adam and Eve. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, we didn't evolve from apes. He didn't say that. I'm just saying. This video is not about him. I'm not gonna keep saying this, all right? A lot of vegans and people who think that we should not eat meat will say things like, we're apes and apes don't eat meat and this and that and a third. Apes actually eat meat sometimes. Chimpanzees, the ones that we're supposed to be the most um, related to, eat meat. Do your research. Gorillas, the ones that a lot of vegans use, say, um, gorillas don't eat meat and they're the strongest animal in the world, this and that and third. They're not. Not overall or pound for pound. They're not the strongest land animal. No, the elephant is way stronger overall. And if you talk about, oh, the elephant is way bigger. Pound for pound, the ant, the, an ant, an ant lifts hundreds of times more than his body weight and he eats everything, right? He doesn't just eat veggies or meat. He eats everything, all right? And gorillas also eat ants, larvae, they eat snails. They don't only eat plants. They don't only eat fruits and vegetables, all right? And if we evolve from apes, why are there still apes? Why are there still apes? We didn't evolve from them. There might be similarities. Oh, they got thumbs and they look like us. And yeah, I see. I see that. But why Why God couldn't just create things that's similar? Why do why you think it just came from that? That's like if I draw a picture and I draw another picture, that picture might have gave me the idea to do that other picture, but that picture is not from that picture. Think about it. I don't know, that that might not have made no sense. That might be the only part of the video that makes sense, but uh, like the video, listen anyways, all right? We are meant to eat meat. When you cut out, when you cut out food groups, when you cut out food groups, your hormones get out of balance. Even people who cut out carbs, a lot of people argue that carbs are the least important macronutrients, and they cut them out. Just let's cut them out, it's least important. I will, I will argue that they are the least important um, compared to proteins and fats. Um, protein, the most important. Fats, very important. Carbs, also important. All of them are important. You know, fiber, sugar, alcohol, you need, you need a balance of everything. All right? When you start cutting things out, things start getting out of whack. All right, and, and if we're not even just talking about hormones, we're talking about weight loss, let's, let's talk about just weight loss then. When it comes to just weight loss, cutting your carbs out, he's not talking about cutting your carbs, I'm not talking about just him talking about vegans and, and people. You know, most, most of those guys that get high protein, high fat, no carbs. Then you got people who got, you know, high carbs, no fat, high protein. You know, then you got people that go, you know, you got people go vegan, fruititarian, all this other bull crap. Name me a few people, athletes or whatever, name the, the world-class best people, right? Because everybody can name the person they learn from. They say, well, such and such said, you name it one person. That one person might did well on that diet if they're actually on that diet. A lot of times these things are, are a lot of times people lie about what diet they're on or what they do for monetary um, purposes, for money. Look at Liver King, what happened there? You know, he fooled how many millions of people? Look at a lot of these fake natties, all right? A lot of these people got you following their lifestyles and they're not living the lifestyle themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Liars, charlatans. And it's easy to fool a beginner. I've been saying this for years. I've been saying this for years, way before this, all right? I Type in Repetime Fitness New Year's. Uh, type in Repetime Fitness, watch out for the wolves. Watch those videos. I've been saying this. This ain't this ain't because of this, all right? I've been saying this for the longest. So I'm at the gym now. I'm about to go in there and hit bench press. It is 1040. I usually wait until about one or two in the morning, but I said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and go in there. I usually wait until it's empty. Cause I get a better workout in the empty gym, but there's always this group of old guys who hate me because I won't talk to them. And that's weird. <laughs> it's weird, all right? So people that's new to my channel, you're going to hear a lot of that, all right? Don't, <laughs> hey, excuse that part. At the end of the day, I don't be trying to do that, but I be getting to the gym. Every time I get to the gym, I get this feeling. But lately, I've been getting better workouts with a group of people in the gym than I've been in an empty gym because of those few guys. Those few guys is worth the, worse than 100 regular mother. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? I just know not to deadlift heavy unless I'm, I'm ready to scream and yell and mean mug. You know, people be thinking I'm weird because of that, but I'm just here to work out, man. 
that's all I'm here for, man. I'm here to work out. I didn't get a membership to socialize. I don't want to be a part of any community. I don't want to be a part of none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Teach his own, though. I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with going in the gym and not working out. It just don't make sense. <laughs> you pay your membership to make friends? Cool, make friends. But you're not going to get the results. You're not going to get the results of anything that you're not doing, all right? If you ain't really working out, you're not going to get the results like you're working out. Being in the gym is not half the battle. You know what I'm saying? People have sold you a lie. People have sold you a dream. I was a beginner before, too. And I tell people the mistakes that I made. When I first started, I used to buy the supplement store up. I used to buy every supplement in the store. I used to spend whole paychecks. <laughs> I used to spend whole paychecks in the store. I was spending thousands of dollars in a month. Every month, I was spending hundreds or thousands of dollars, probably over $1,000 every month on whatever supplement claimed that it could do something. That's how I became an expert. That's how, because I made the mistakes. I've made all the mistakes. I found out which diets work, which diets didn't work. I got the results. I got the results. I always tell people it's all about results, man. A lot of people think it's about some certification, you know? No disrespect for those going for their certification. Get your, get your, get your paper. Get your, but make sure it's not just a piece of paper, all right? If you become a trainer, I've been in the gym for 10 years. The first half, I was messing up. Didn't know what I was doing. Wouldn't listen to nobody, and the few people that I was listening to was people that I shouldn't have listened to. I dirty bulked, I got fat, I did all these things, right? So, I, what I, my point is, I've seen so many trainers. I've been to this gym, that gym. I've been to multiple gyms, and it's been years, so some people come and go. So I've seen probably a couple hundred, in 10 years, probably a couple hundred trainers. And out of them, a couple hundred trainers, it probably been five to ten people who was actually worth a day. They never trained me. I don't pay attention to other people's business much. But when you see it every day or when they're approaching you, it's hard not to. It's hard not to know somebody else's business when it's right there on an everyday basis. These trainers in there are getting people messed up. I ain't saying in this gym right here. I don't I don't I don't know. I try to I try to I'm really at the point where I try to keep my distance the most part, but I've seen some crazy things, but um, some of them are all right. But that's the point, though. I got a video that I did, um, was it yesterday, two days ago? Should you hire a personal trainer? And my, and my answer to that was no. Shouldn't. Why? Fitness should be free. Fitness should be free. There's too much information out here for you to be paying anybody. And then... A lot of these guys, they got these certifications. They just started three months ago. They passed the test. My son can pass the test. Some of the stuff I just said in this video talk about uh, the strongest animal. My son said elephant. When I said that in my last video, he said it before I even said it. I already said it. I recorded it, but he already knew it was going to be the elephant, the, the strongest land animal. It's an elephant by far. The African elephant is way stronger than any animal on Earth. On Earth. Name the biggest ones. Polar bears, rhinos, hippos. You know what I'm saying? You, you name the beastiest ones. Maybe not pound for pound. You could probably name a few of them. But the, the gorilla is not pound for pound the most beastly animal, not even in his area. <laughs> in the Congo, in the what? In the what? The, 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 take the silver back. The, the, the biggest, the baddest, the baddest gorilla of them all is scared of the leopard. And the leopard ain't even a quarter of his size. Like, come on, man. He's scared of the leopard. But when a leopard in the other parts of Africa, on the plains, you know, what people say the lion is the king of the jungle, but they don't live in the jungle. They live on the plains. Tiger is the king of the jungle. All right. That's in a different, whole different place, though. That's Asia. But I'm just saying in Africa, in Africa, the leopard is running scared of the lion, who also ain't nowhere near the size of a gorilla. Well, almost. But still, gorilla's huge. And he has fangs. He doesn't have claws like a uh, like, but he has strength. He has, yo, roided up looking. You know what I'm saying? Bodybuilder like, beast mode, little, little, little all that. But that leopard will rip him apart. Easy, easy. He don't even run his own spot. Easy. You <laughs> talk about the gorilla. I wanna, I wanna stop eating meat because I wanna be like a gorilla. But I want to be like a human. <laughs> I want to be like a human. 
God put us on earth to run the animals. I'm not going to compare myself to animals and follow them. I get it. There's a lot we can learn from animals. There's a lot we have forgotten in nature. We forgot our nature. All right, we got all this technology. We got cars. We got boats, planes, computers, all this and all that. But we can learn from each other, man. That's why I always tell people to watch my channel. But it's messed up. The people you personally know won't watch a channel. I got people, like I said in the last video, I got people with blood, the same blood, running through our veins who will not watch my channel. Salute to the five. Shout out to my cousin. I think Emery watches me. A few others. My mom watches me. My sisters watch me. I don't know if my brother know about my channel, but I'm pretty sure he'll watch me. I got a few friends. I got a few friends. I got I got a few people who will watch me or willing to watch me. You don't have to though. You don't have to though. The messed up part about it is if, if you if you one of the people. You know, if you had a channel, do you think I'll watch your channel? Yeah, I'll watch it. Even if you didn't watch my channel. I always I encourage people. Start a channel. Alright, I do fitness because I can I can get on this camera any time of the day and teach something about fitness. I am good at this. I am an expert. Alright, a lot of people argue that I'm not an expert because I'm not certified. I don't want to be certified. I don't care about that. I could be certified. I could go in there and pass a test today. Like I've been doing this fitness thing for a minute. You type in, if you got a question about something that you think I might not know, type in Rep and Time Fitness and type in that, that said thing. And I guarantee you I will school you on that said thing. I can't do that in every video. Video will be three hours long, 10 hours long. And I'm not willing, and if I could, I'm not willing to do that. Cause I don't want you to get everything. I don't want you to get everything you need from a video. Well, some of them I do, but uh, but why would you come back? You know what I'm saying? You want everything you need to know about weight loss? Click the link below or type in Rapid Time Fitness Top 10 Misconceptions About Weight Loss. That's the video. That's the only weight loss video you need to watch, even of mine. If you watch that video, you don't even have to watch no more of my weight loss videos. Just watch my, my workout videos. <laughs> Other than that, you don't need to watch. You wouldn't even need to watch my New Year's videos. And I went in on New Year's. Top 10 misconceptions about weight loss, man. Stop cutting out food groups unless you want to. You know, animal cruelty. All right, I'm going to say this. I should have said it in the beginning. The only reason I will see myself going vegan ever, which I don't, but if I did, it would be because of animal cruelty. It wouldn't be because of weight loss because meat doesn't make you fat. Peace. No, no, no. We ain't peace. You know? We, we got to talk about that. How does meat make you fat? Meat is protein, bro. Protein is the number one macronutrient you need. Yeah, you could get plant-based protein, but it's not complete protein. It doesn't have the same aminos. That's why a lot of people, their testosterone, bleep. That's why there aren't that many beast mode vegans. They're not. They're, there's, and that sounds offensive. And that's why they begin getting offended too, because they're, their testosterone dropped. You know what I'm saying? They get them... <laughs> They get a little emotional, you know what I'm saying? I'm just stating facts. They get a little emotional. Name your top 10 athletes in any sport, and I guarantee you at least eight of them eat meat. Then, on the other hand, I guarantee you on one hand, you can count how many people you know. If you're a vegan or, or you're going this route, you probably know some people more than I would. But I guarantee you will still get a counter on one hand. How many of them actually have a physique and how many of them are beast at what they do? How many of them are beast? And is it because they didn't eat meat? My homeboy, we're going to get back to my homeboy, right? He said something about he going to always be better at this and better at that than me and this and that and the third. And I told him, I agree. I agree. Yo, this dude was the best. I guarantee he still got a lot of it. When it comes to sports in my neighborhood... I think he did it a little bit in college too, but in school and all that, I didn't. I didn't go to school. I, I dropped out of eighth grade. I got a lot. I tell you my problems. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't never had nobody to tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I had a few people, but it was just like the people that were supposed to be there to tell me what to do. They, 
it's another video. I mean, maybe that's not even a video. I don't even want to talk about that. But, uh, but, but, ah, ah, let me get serious, all right? He was the best. Athletic-wise, he was the best. Basketball, football, all of that. I told him, like, he said, um, working out for years doesn't make you an expert. I said, yeah, it does. Working out successfully for years, getting stronger, actually building muscle, actually reaching the goal, actually getting the results, makes you an expert. Way more than any piece of paper. He said he's better at me at this and that and third. And I said, yes, but you got to remember, how did you get that good? Practice, hands on. Practice makes perfect. Nobody's perfect, but you became the best because you practiced. Bruce Lee was the best at what he did because he practiced daily. Kobe was the best at what he did because he practiced daily. LeBron, Jordan, whoever you could put in that category. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. Hands-on experience. That's what makes you an expert. I'm about to go in there right now, get some more hands-on experience. Every time I go in there, I'm going in there getting hands-on experience, bro. I get better and better on the daily basis. It didn't happen on accident. It happened because of know-how. It happened because of planning. It happened because of, of figuring things out. It happened because bumping my head a million times before I got it right. I've made mistakes. When I first started losing weight, I struggled with weight loss. I lose a few pounds, I put it back on. Like like 90% of other people. But besides, but but the difference between me and 90% of other people. I didn't keep trying the same stuff that didn't work. You know what I'm saying? The definition of insanity. I didn't keep doing the same things if it didn't work. I can't, I didn't keep listening to the same people if I was adhering to what they were saying and it still wasn't working. I was willing to listen and try different things. I found a formula. I found a formula that works for me. Because I know somebody going to hit me with that. What works for you? Work for you. What works for me? Work for me. I hate that with a passion. I do because we are all different. We have different genetics. We have different metabolisms. We got different fibers, muscle. Uh, we got all kind of different things, man. We do. We do. We got different things, but we are more the same than we are different, no matter who you are. Old, young, black, white, young, or whatever. whatever. We are more, if you're a human being, you're more like me than you think you are. You, you know what I'm saying? You just got to bring it out of you. You just got to bring that beast out of you, dog. You're more like me than you think you are. But do it right. When you first start lifting, lift light, focus on your form. Then lift a little bit heavier, still focusing on your form. Then a little heavier, still focusing on your form. I lift heavy as crap, and I'm still focusing on my form. That's first. Safety first. When you start dieting, take it slow. Your workout, you need to develop... I always tell people your workout, when you know what you're doing, your workout needs to be a fight. No matter what you're doing, whether it's cables, dumbbells, running, walking, whatever. It needs to be. You need to go in and go hard. You know what I'm saying? Even with walking. I walk slow and, and just chill. But it's going to be a long walk. I've been doing that for years. And I found a formula. I used to walk to the store for, it didn't matter if you was three years old, I walked to the store for you. I became an expert at walking. I figured out things about walking that you would never know about. <laughs> Nobody can tell me about walking, man. Yo, man, but that's all I got to say, man, because my pre-workout kicking in. It's been kicking in for the last few minutes. This video is 21 minutes, about barely nothing. But this is part two. Did I did I touch on everything I wanted to touch on? Because there's something about the apes. They come from God. Chimpanzees eat meat, and they're closer related to us than... than um, than gorillas um and they're more beasty pound for pound let me put that in there gorillas can probably beat a chimp because a gorilla is bigger but you put a beasty gorilla in the, in, the, in the cage with a beasty chimpanzee that chimpanzee is going to outsmart it he's going to have more athleticism he's going to be more aggressive i will still put my money on a gorilla <laughs> in a fight with a chimpanzee but he ain't gonna come out unscathed. Pound for pound, he ain't gonna come out unscathed. If they was the same size, it wouldn't even be a match. If they was the same size, it wouldn't even be a match. So, 
that that's just yo nothing <laughs> and we're not okay look okay we're mammals right a lot of people say we're mammals it's a lot of animals that's mammals all right and even they don't eat nothing but you know you know how much bugs a cow probably accidentally eat and then you might say on oh, cows and stuff like that they eat veggies and cows have like 15 stomachs animals that eat nothing but vegetation have different stomachs and digestive systems than us you know a lot of people will say our digestive system our digestive system is more like a carnivore's not really like a carnivore not a true carnivore you know the truest carnivore that I could think of on earth would have to be like cats cats eat cats eat more meat than anything that's why cat food usually is more meat than dog food because cats are more true carnivores than dogs um let me see uh, dogs are carnivores snakes snakes you don't see snakes eating carrots you know what I'm saying other than that let me see it's a few, you know what I'm saying? Certain birds, birds of prey. Mm. I mean, we're not like those, all right? I don't want to really compare us to animals. Um, What am I saying? What the f am I saying? I'm about to go. But no, nah, man, comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Check out my Reptile Fitness. It's hot in this car. Um, I got this hoodie on. I like to warm up before I go to the gym. I like to be already warm, get them joints loosened up, you know what I'm saying? That way, the warm-up that I actually do in the gym can be, you know what I'm saying, a little... I mean, not quick, but make it effective, but also, I'm going to warm up with lightweight, whatever I'm lifting. I'm doing bench press. Of course, I'm going to do a million different sets as I acclimate up, because um, it depends. I'm going to give you a quick lesson, all right? If I'm going super heavy, um, like I was doing 365 on the bench, uh, I do bigger jumps. I mean, I warm up effectively, but I don't do a million reps and sets before because you want to save the energy for the last rep. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm going for a pump or, you know, I'm, I'm training more bodybuilder style, I'm not worried about how much weight is on the thing. I train bodybuilder style and powerlifter style. I learned, oh my gosh, this is, should have been the beginning of the video.